And good morning. We have on the line with us Hassani Lin. She's the general manager of Samurai and Shaira Mohammed, the founder of Trinidad and Tobago Restaurant Week. Good morning. Welcome to the No Morning Show. Good morning. Good morning. 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 It's such a pleasure to have you both on the show with us this morning and really excited because, of course, Restaurant Week, Week is launching from this Friday, the 24th. And it's definitely going to be a bit different, right? Because we're used to Restaurant Week. You know, you go, you sit down, you have a good time, you dine in. But now, in the throes of a global pandemic, we're looking at different ways of approaching Restaurant Week with curbside and delivery. So how has that been? Well, uh, we found that over the past year, we've gotten accustomed to ordering when we were allowed to. Um, and of course, you know, eating is a form of entertainment and we are lacking entertainment. So, um, you know, a lot of people take advantage of the ability to order meals, especially prepped meals, you know, various cuisines to have their own very own date nights, you know, whether it's in their car parked up somewhere or you know, a picnic in their yard, or just simply surprise someone with a meal. You know, like we've also had people, we've seen people send gifts of meals to other people, like surprise, you know? Um, so even though it's not ideal, whereas we can't go out and enjoy a meal with friends at a restaurant in, a, in, the, in that environment, we can create our own environment. And we realize people have shifted to this new, um, way of dining and still making the best of it. And definitely couldn't agree more. And as you just said, the best way to surprise somebody really sometimes, you know, is with food. It's beautiful. <laughs> so <laughs> how many restaurants are going to be taking part in this year's restaurant week? So we have uh, quite a large list of restaurants. We have a total of about 44, 45 um, outlets that are going to be open because of course we have some uh, restaurants that are chains such as TGI, you know, um, Mamma Mia is now a chain as well. So we have some restaurants that have multiple locations. So in total, about 45 restaurants across Trinidad and in Tobago as well. Oh, fantastic. So you see, nobody is left out of this restaurant week. So one of the things that we all look forward to with restaurant week is the delicious food. But a question we have to ask sometimes is, are we getting the same food that's on the regular menu for the restaurant as will be in restaurant week? Or is it going to be something special and different? So usually restaurants would take advantage of restaurant week to do a couple things, either uh, promote an existing meal that they already have, um, you know, something that people don't generally order because it might be a little bit pricey or, you know, it's something that you're not sure about. So you don't want to waste money on trying. So restaurant week is a perfect opportunity to sample these new dishes um, as well as, you know, regular items that are very popular um, what we found restaurants would try to lower the prices on those to make it, you know, really more affordable and available across the board to everyone. That's so true. One of the things I noticed looking at your website is the fact that now with Restaurant Week, you have price ranges from $50 all the way to, let's say, for $500. So you're definitely catering to everybody who is interested in taking part. Correct. This year um, and last year as well, with the opening of restaurants just for deliveries, um, we realized that a lot of people prefer to order lower priced meals. So we've included a $50 category, which we normally don't have. Um, so we've lowered our category now start from $50 and we are going up to the regular $400. So we have a $50, $100, $200, $300 $400 and a $400 category as well. Of course, in the larger categories, you could also look out for family packages. So it's not necessarily $400 for one person. It might be $400 for four people. It sounds fantastic. And it sounds like I'm already ready for some dinner in the now morning show. Hassani, how has preparation been for you at Samurai for Trinidad and Tobago Restaurant Week? Uh, really good, really good. Uh, we're we're totally enthusiastic about it and expecting a great restaurant week. Um, we have two restaurants that are taking, taking part. Uh, one is Samurai, uh, which is has been rated the number one restaurant in Trinidad and Tobago, according to TripAdvisor, as well as Luna, which is a new one that we have um, starting as well. So we have two, um, two great menus that we're launching for restaurant week, uh, custom menus, new items. Uh, again, we obviously are trying to bear in mind that, that price point that, you know, is 
it's affordable for some people because we know how, how tough things are in the economy right now, you know? So Samurai's coming in at the 300 and Luna will be coming in at the 250. And it's a three course meal, to the, including a drink, um, taxes included as well. So um, pretty good, we're definitely excited for sure. I think we're excited as well. So tell me, some of these meal plans as well, do they offer desserts? Yeah, yeah, three course. So yeah, so you have your appetizer, <laughs> entree, and dessert, as well as a drink for, for that um, 300 or 250, included with taxes for sure. So definitely something to look forward to for everybody, whether you have a sweet tooth, maybe you're just perhaps in the mood for a nice hearty meal. There is something for everybody. So just as we continue to talk about Restaurant Week, I believe you guys have a website as well as an app, if I'm correct? Correct. Uh, we, would, we like to channel everyone to social media, so Facebook page as well as Instagram. And that's because it's easy for us to modify and update and keep things current and fresh. Um, sometimes restaurants decide to come on board the day restaurant week starts. You know, so that's, that's the easiest way to keep abreast as to what restaurants are on board. So we have social media, Facebook and Instagram, and then we have a really nifty app. Um, so our mobile app uh, is, is called TT Restaurants. And essentially it's a listing of restaurants that are taking part in restaurant week. And you can have, you can filter these. So there's a filter. So you can filter all the restaurants that are offering $200 meals or all the restaurants who are offering $50 meals all the restaurants in uh, North, all the restaurants in San Fernando. So you can fill, use the filters, the various filters to kind of narrow down um, what you're really looking for. Because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming, you know, having to go through all these menus. You know, so vegans or vegetarians can, you know, click the vegetarian um, filter and only vegetarian meals will come up. So the app is really superb. It really cuts down your work. Um, and then once you decide on which restaurants you want to order from, you can even click on the restaurant itself and get the phone number um, and call them directly. And of course, our friends, all delivery services are ready to, you know, they've stepped up the game and they're all ready to get involved and deliver because of course we are expecting an increase in deliveries over the next 10 days starting from Friday. That's fantastic as well. So in many ways, you know, you're creating opportunities, not just for our restaurant owners, but also for our delivery drivers as well, who have really felt it during this global pandemic. Yes, I think, um, I think the entire industry has been feeling it, um, you know, from suppliers all the way down. So it really is nice. The event creates movement. It creates, you know, good energy positive energy and it gets us ready for when we are going to be opening back dining in restaurants <laughs> i think we're all very excited about that when it does happen it's going to be amazing and i hope you guys are ready because you know when that happens of course following all covid 19 protocols you're gonna have some lines outside most definitely yes, yes, so sure. viewers I hope that you've enjoyed this. Don't forget, Restaurant Week is happening. It's starting on the 24th of September. And as you shared with us, you have a fantastic app. There's your Facebook page. There's a website and so much more that you can go to to get all that delicious food and more. Thank you so much for being with us this morning, Shira and Hassani. Hoping that you're prepped. You're prepped. You ready? Yeah. Ready, ready to go? To go. Ready to go. <laughs> we are ready to go as well, I think. We're ready to go. <laughs> and just one more question. I mean, this isn't our morning show. So, do we, may we get any breakfast items in the restaurant week? <laughs> we actually do have breakfast items. See? We don't. We don't. <laughs> He's like, nope. We <laughs> only open in the evening. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. lunch, lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. Nice. But that's okay. Yeah, Sushi yeah, for lunch yeah. is always a thing. Um. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being with us on the Now Morning Show. Looking forward to celebrating TT Restaurant Week with you. And, of course, eating some delicious food. And viewers, don't forget that you can go to TT Restaurant Week on Facebook and check out their app as well for more information. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks thank for you. having us. All right, so you're looking forward to that? Yeah. I'm ready. You ready for sushi one I'm time? I'm ready. I mean, I'm sorry. I know I've said it before, but listen. Yes, definitely. Bring Restaurant Week on. Let's eat.